Hi guys, my name is Leanne Demon and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to tell you that after two years, I finally figured out how to make custom content paintings in The Sims 4. Granted, I was hoping for non-custom content, but either way, I am extremely happy that I get to do this and I get to share it with you guys and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this and yay, I finally get to do it. Yay! Anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to make pictures like this or your own screenshots into paintings that you can hang on your walls in The Sims 4. And you don't have to take pictures with them with your phone or the camera. It's literally like a build and buy object. So to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, you need um, a video, not a video, a editing software such as Photoshop or GIMP, and as well as uh, The Sims 4 Studio. Okay, where's mine at? Told it to load. Anyway, so you need those two. I will link Sims 4 Studio below, and I will be showing you, or and you guys can find your own video editing software. I will be using Photoshop CS2. Really old, I know, but it's what I'm comfortable with. So the very first thing you need to do, well, what I need to do is close out of the game. Otherwise, this won't show up. Anyway, so while that's closing, you need to open up uh, Sims 4 Studio. If you first downloaded it, you might have to do some things and add your creator name. Go away. But if you've used it before, this is what it looks like now. So you're gonna wait, make want to make the. You're going to want to make sure that standalone recolor under objects is selected, and then click object. You're going to see this list of all Sims 4 objects that you own, and oh, even the ones that you don't own. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Experimenting. So, I'm just going to choose a single painting because I like it, and because it's just a flat image and it's really super easy. I'm going to be using this one, the super asymmetrical picture. So once you have your picture selected, you're going to want to hit next. Uh, name it anything you want. I'm going to name this one landscape. All right. It's going to automatically save as a package file. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to hit save and uh, do all this stuff here. Name it. Um, And just do whatever you want. Give it an actual description, name, and price. Just keep it at 10 because 11 is going to bother me. And then you're, once that's all done, you're going to want to over here to texture. I'm only making one swatch, so I'm going to remove the other two. But if you're making multiple, like landscape pictures or whatever you're making, keep the swatches. And you'll just repeat the same thing for the first one for all the rest of them. Simple as that. So, you're going to, of course, do that however way, and you're going to click export. It's going to come up with this again, and you're going to name it. It's going to name this one landscape, yet again. And this one, you're, when most people say DDS files, it gets really complicated. So, I'm going to show you how to do this without a DDS file. Just save it as a PNG file. Easy as that. So once that's done, I'm going to hit save. What did I just do? Don't know what I just did. Okay then. Cool. Alrighty then. So once that's done, we're going to go to your photo editing software. Mine happens to be Photoshop. And you're just going to Take that picture that you just had, the packet, or er, the one you just saved, literally just saved. You're going to drag it into the software. So it will look something like this. It, it's really simple. That's why I like this one. So depending on what software you have to use, you might need to radicize it or something. But for me, apparently, I don't have to. So I'm going to zoom in here. And just get rid of 
this all this blue stuff we want that to go away and it should look like this all right press Control D for deselect and then we're going to um, go over here to file and click save as we're going to click between the name and the dot and we're going to type in empty E M T Y okay and we're going to save this one as a P a Photoshop picture or a PSD file and save that press OK to that okay uh, oops. And then we're going to go back to file and press place you're going to find your picture and place it in going to want it to fill up all this space here like with the blue we're just going to want it to be this one and I missed it a little bit and if you mess up or don't make it the right size just press Control T and do whatever you need to so once it's resized the way you want it you're going to press not press we're going to go over here to this spot we're going to take this picture and drag it under layer, z layer zero and there you go so anything that you had over the edge it will cut it out so it's like a frame okay we're just putting the picture under the frame all right after that we're going to click on layer zero and you need to select both of them so you need to hit control at the same time so once you have that you're going to right click and click flatten image and it will become one. So once it's flattened, we're going to go back over here to file, save as once again, and we're just going to call it the same thing, we're just getting rid of empty. And we're also going to go back and save it as another PMG file. Oi, where's it at? There it is. So yet again, PNG. I'm going to save it. And if it does that, just Say okay. Um, hmm, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go back into The Sims 4 Studio. And we're going to click Import. Okay, find your picture again. And boom, it's right here, like the other one was. Once it's done, check out, make sure everything's the way you want it and then click save okay if you want a thumbnail which you probably should just click import and find the thumbnail I accidentally saved it over so let me get the picture again so I'm just gonna because I accidentally just save the picture over so I'm going to click import I mean there's other ways where you can just like resize it properly, but I'm too lazy to do that. Didn't I just save it? Oh, that's why. Grr. It's not showing up. Oh well, whatever. We'll just go with this one. I mean, it's the same relatively thing. Anyway, so find the picture for the thumbnail and blah, blah, blah. Click save and it should come up. Your package file has been saved. I'm going to minimize this. We're going to go into our files here, and we're going to find it. So, ours was... Oh, there it is. Oh, that's why. Anyways, sorry. Thinking out loud here. We're going to find the package file, so mine's right here. And we're going to take that, and just like any other mod for The Sims 4, going to take it and drag it into your mods folder. Uh, put it in any like, organization way you have it. And just boom. As long as it's in your mod folder, it should be fine. Alright. As soon as that's done, it should be in your Sims 4 game now. So we're gonna launch The Sims 4 and see if it works. So once the game is all logged in and stuff going to hop into any family. I'm just going to pop into this one. 
and stuff. And anyway, so as soon as this loads up, I will show you what the finished product looks like. Okay. So it should be in your paintings or wall decorations. Where's that? There it is. And it should be in somewhere in one of these. Mine happens to be right here. And boom. There's our picture. So here you can see where I've tested it out and done it repeatedly so I can see if it works. And there you go. These are the pictures of screenshots and stuff that I've taken or someone else has taken. I just got off of Google and stuff. But that's how you do it. I mean, granted it's taken as custom content, but hey. We get what we want. And sometimes we don't. But it works just like any other painting and you could do it with anyone any of the paintings so just make sure you do it just like I said and you should come out fine so thank you guys all for watching so happy and uh, thanks again uh, hit the like button subscribe and comments for any questions or concerns or comments and stuff let your voice out you guys catch you later demon out